Now, mate, yeah. you've just been having a little bit of a rant to me off air. Yeah, and bit. I just just want to make sure you're okay. I'm, I'm fine, mate. I'm okay. And I, I don't want you to bottle these things up. Uh-huh. So I want you to be able to, you know, get in touch with your feelings and express uh-huh. yourself. Right. And be able to share what's going on in your world. Well, also the wife and I and the family went away on holidays over the weekend to the Sunshine Coast to visit some friends and family. And first of all, people on planes. Like, yes... I've got kids now, and yes, they can be a little annoying on planes because my nearly two-year-old doesn't get his own seat. So he's sitting on my lap. He's quite a big guy, as you know, mm-hmm. Maxie. And like his feet were sort of nudging the seat in front. I was trying to make it so he wouldn't do it. But then every now and again, he's, he would slip his foot between the gap and like hit the woman in front's elbow. And she kept turning around and shaking her head and going, you know, like, mate, it's a, it's a kid. What do you want me to do? But it all started earlier. Like she turned up to the plane late. She walked in from the ro- wrong entry. And then there was no room in the overhead luggage compartment for her and her husband's bags. And so they looked directly at us as the seats behind with the two kids and the two adults and thinking, oh, it must be these guys taking up all the overhead luggage. So it's this woman yeah. has really started to annoy you from entering the plane in the wrong direction yes. and now your kid is kicking her in the back but that's her fault. That was just the start of things, right? That was the plane up there. And then we get up there. Can we just talk about like pubs and clubs and breweries and how people use bars these days? Like it, it, the rule used to be you just walk up, you find an empty spot on the bar yes. and you wait to be served. Mm. Now people want to stand like six feet back and be called to the bar by the bar stuff. And then you get to the bar and you got to deal with some Gen Zetta working behind the bar. I was there trying to order beers. They're having this conversation, talking absolute rubbish. Blah, blah, blah. I, I, I snapped at a couple of Gen Zetters. Oh, God. I said, hey, guys, do you want to break up that conversation and maybe come serve me, or is my money not good enough here? <laughs> to which they rolled their eyes because how dare I stop their conversation about what they were getting up to on the weekend. And then... Oh, God, there's more, <laughs> Mick. There's more. We land back in Sydney last night. It's late, right? Is it not the unspoken rule at the baggage carousel that we all stand back? Oh, God, that drives me insane too. Seriously, mate, people are the worst. Mate, I've got something for you because right. I've had to listen to that rant off air and now on air. Yeah. For quite right. some time, you've called me Karen. <laughs> mate, I'll happily wear this you after said, that weekend. I've got the Karen Bob. So here's a wig for you. I am passing over the torch because you are a bigger Karen than I could ever possibly be. People are the worst. They're so annoying. Can I speak to the manager? Is that how you do it, Lyndall? You tell me. I don't speak oh, you know, like you, that. You know how to do it. I do not. You are the king of all Karens. The queen of all Karens, I should say. <laughs>